Using the human organ chips, we were able to generate a mucus layer in vitro similar to that found in a human colon. This has never been done before. And the mucus layer in the human colon protects the intestinal epithelial cells from inflammatory stimuli such as pathogens or irritants. And so in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, it has been shown that there is defects actually that exist in the mucus layer. And so understanding this could help us for understanding how this disease develops and what could be done to cure these patients. If you think about the mucus layer, it's a hydrogel. So it's very sensitive. If you would fix it and take it out of the body, it changes its structure. So it's impertinent that you study the mucus layer under live conditions. So this is very challenging because it's not possible to do that live in the patient. People have been using animal models to study the mucus layer, but this is very technically challenging. And also there have been differences between the mucus layer in animals and humans. So we isolated cells from patient resections from the colon and then used these patient-derived epithelial cells to create the colon chip. These cells produce mucus-producing cells that were then producing and secreting mucus, which accumulated and formed this mucus layer with this inner and outer layer, which the outer layer can be penetrated for example by bacteria, whereas the inner layer is protecting the cells. We found that the mucus layer can undergo a broad dynamic change, such as height doubling, without changing the internal structure. And so we then used this colon chip with the mucus layer to study the response to this inflammatory stimulus. And we found that the inflammatory stimulus leads to swelling of the existing mucus layer and not new mucus production. That was something that was not previously known. And so the colon chip now offers a preclinical tool that we can study intestinal mucus physiology. And it also brings us one step closer to modeling and understanding inflammatory bowel diseases.